left through the bridge and turns to our left. 40. Medium right tightens over press bump. 130. Small absolute press. 200 up hill. The Northern Ireland Rally Championship returns, taking a nine event spread throughout ten months. The range of surfaces provides a tough test of crew and car, and never fails to provide a spectacle. 2002 was a hard fought season, with Derek McGarry lifting the title with one round to spare. 2003 starts with a traditional series opener, Kirkiston Race Circuit. The North Armagh Motorcycle and Car Club play host to round one at the base of the Arts Peninsula. A top entry graces the Eurocable Stages Rally, with Eugene Donnelly heading the field. 110 cars start the opening test, and as the South East Coast venue is famous for changeable weather conditions, it is sure to play havoc with tyre choice, as time is not gained here, only lost. Four leg one stages, one and two tackle the circuit clockwise, and with only 10% gravel, the speeds will be high throughout the two laps. The track surface was damp as the first car took to the start line. Taking second place in the 2002 championship, Eugene Donnelly was on a mission from the word go. In his bid to take the title this year, the Kumu Shot Impreza launched from the line into the opening test. And with a win already under his belt in this car, taking the West 2002 International Victory last November, he picked up where he left off, as the first car on the road would set the early pace on this opening test. And reaching the end of the stage in one piece after a tidy run, they would cross the finish line setting the benchmark at 3 minutes 34.9. Trevor Moore kissed his championship chances goodbye last year on round 7 after a promising start to the series. Winning more rounds than anyone else, the four took three wins, but would miss out on a title shot with as many retirements. The carried off auctions machine was aiming to take its third rally win in succession, and mounting a fresh challenge, Phil McRae would lead the way as the pair shot into stage one. The benchmark was their target. Eugene Donnelly's time would pass, but crossing the line, the Asker Cosworth places fourth. Morris Gas was once again joined by Karen Patterson as the ex Richard Burns S7 took off the line. The 2001 World Championship winning car set off well into the stage, and with this only Morris's first real competition in the car, he would take time to settle in but would be caught out on the first stage on the gravel section as the car would stall. But quickly back on the gas, Morris would fight to recover the lost time in the remaining lap. And coming to the end of the stage, the emo-backed car would cross the line ninth. 2002 was a disastrous season for Dennis Biggerstaff. With mechanical troubles plaguing the team throughout the year, a new engine fitted to the 6R4 would add extra teeth to the beast on round one. The new engine was a lot quicker than its predecessor, and finding the car transformed, it would be an interesting process for Dennis, as the story would unfold throughout the event. And on the pace, the 2001 champion would place third after stage one. On their last visit to Kirkuson, they came away with third. Now returning in 2003, the Escort World Rally car of Kieran Shaw and Crawford Henderson was back on the ball. The Ford would take the challenge to the top five seated cars on this opening test. And with Crawford spurring him on, Kieran put the foot down to begin the day on the right note. Reaching the finish of the stage, they record second fastest to put pressure on the rally lead.
With his Esker Cosworth now converted to right-hand drive and work finishing early this morning, Gary White was in test mode as he felt out the new car, placing 13th after leg one. Making a good finish to the series last year, Glenn Allen was tipped as a contender for 2003. Seventh after stage one, a reported jump start on stage two would end his chances and he pulls out of the event. The sister car to Kieran Shaw's Escort World Rally car, Brian McCluskey would hit trouble instantly on stage one, breaking the main shaft in the gearbox, bringing their challenge to a premature halt. We now analyse the top two seeds, pitting Eugene Donnelly against Trevor Moore. Coming around the bale, Eugene would appear to have more acceleration coming out of the corner, and powering down the straight, at the halfway point Eugene is three tenths of a second faster over this short distance. The Group N cars would suffer in this type of event, lacking the grunt of the top seeds. Dickie Curran and Brian Haddock would head up the Group N challenge after the opening two stages. And with their stall in stage one and early setback for the Impreza, Morris would get the bit between his teeth on stage two to set a blinding pace. The Pedro Petfoot Subaru would be faultless throughout the 3.6 mile test. And from the onboard pictures, we can see he would attack the second stage with a more aggressive approach, more than making up for the stage one performance, across the finish line in a time two seconds clear of anyone else. But in a reverse of fortune, Kieran Shaw and Crawford Henderson found it was their turn to hit trouble on stage two. Their escort would be hard to handle on the final lap of the stage, with fear suggesting a broken front diff and question marks would loom over their ability to continue on stage three. Settled after the opening stage, Trevor Moore took his cue from Morris Gas and up the ante in stage two. He and Phil McRae would close on Cairn Shaw and with the dramas in the KBB camp, Trevor would close the gap to now go into service joint third. Also to climb the ranks in the second test, Dennis Biggerstaff and Damien McCann went ahead of Kieran Shaw and began to home in on the rally lead, with the Metro stepping up the pace to take second spot. The rally leaders took into stage two as they did stage one. The Envirocare machine would lose time to their first stage and would concede to Morris Gas. Dennis Biggerstaff was now knocking on the back door of the Subaru, now only three seconds back at the break. Square left. At the tight square left, 30, long open hairpin right, continues. And, and notice how right. Eugene continues to go up the gears while sideways at the top hairpin. Keep the right. Good job. Two stages down, 3.2 seconds the difference as Eugene Donnelly leads Dennis Biggerstaff. Trevor Moore is third, with Kieran Shaw tying on time. Morris Gass is fifth, with Group N leader Dickie Curran taking sixth. It was very, very slippy the second run there, but it was out in the bicycle there a while ago, and it's, it's really dried up now for this run, so we're in slicks now. We had been on wets for the first two, and uh, ah, he's happy enough. Car's superb, like as usual, and uh, we're just looking forward to the rest of the day.